Good afternoon. I'm Pratika and I'm Sahana. We are from Atomic Energy Central School. We come from Tamil Nadu. And our topic is Bell Siphon. So, floods due to heavy rain is a major calamitic problem faced in our country. Recent floods in Kerala cost us so many lives and so many crops were damaged. As you can see in these photographs, so many uh, house filled, uh, water filled housing compounds, airports, railway lines, agricultural fields are the major issues to be resolved during floods. But right now, there is no effective method to drain these water even after the rain subsides. So here we present a very simple and effective method to drain out water during flood times. So this system is based on the principle of bell siphon. A pipe is fixed here and here is its outlet. Imagine this as a field. So now I am going to pour water. So now if I pour water further, the water will flow through this pipe into the tank. But the level of the water is maintained. So now I am going to place a bell. And now let's see what happens. You can find that the whole water is being drained. So this system is based on the principle of bell siphon. So when the water reaches a particular level, the whole water will be drained out. So if this system is placed in the places where waterlogging is likely to happen, we can prevent waterlogging. So when siphons are installed, we can uh, insert underground pipes uh, and then their outlets will be directed towards rivers. So when waterlogging takes place, the siphon will suck the water and drain it out into the river. So the major advantage of the system is that it is very cost effective. No power is required for its operation. It is just made up of PVC pipes which are very cheap. No complicated electrical circuits or sensors are used. So it is 100% reliable. And it works without any human intervention. So I will explain the working principle. So initially when the water is filled, atmospheric pressure acts on the surface of the water. When the water level rises and it closes the mouth of the pipe, the region inside the bell becomes isolated from the atmosphere. So uh, when the water flows down due to gravity, the region inside the bell becomes vacuum. Thus the atmospheric pressure pushes the water into the bell and the water flows down due to gravity. Thus, the siphon start gets in. So, it, uh, it is, uh, the siphon starts without any external energy. Thank you. Thank you.